Did you know Somaliland is one of the most peaceful and beautiful countries in the Horn of Africa? Our crew of Kibisu Mulanda and Jidraf Mbogwa left the busy city of Nairobi and ventured into this gem of Africa that is mostly confused with Somalia. Tonight on the second episode of Inside Somaliland, we take you to Albade, east of Hargeisa, next to border with Ethiopia. Away from the serious business of the local Red Crescent Society, Bisha Khas in the community, we take time to sample the sights and sounds of this border town. Take a look on this adventurous journey of inside Somaliland. Kibisu. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it's big. Last week, we took you all the way from Kenya to Somaliland and sampled the beautiful sights and sounds of Hargeisa, the capital of the Republic of Somaliland. Before we hit the road proper, just a little bit more juice on Hargeisa. That is a huge hotel coming up at a vantage point in the city. With proximity to the airport and a beautiful view of the city, this is definitely good investment. This is a university, named after Franz Omar Fanon, who was a French West Indian psychiatrist and political philosopher from the French colony of Martinique. Tells quite a bit of education around here. This is a modern apartment building in the city. If this doesn't speak to how ready the Republic of Somaliland is for takeoff, then what does? And just before we leave Hargeisa, a friend couldn't believe that fuel story. Yes, guys, I got my good friend Abu Bakr from Somaliland to give me this picture. Continue chewing on that. Let us hit the road now. In this week's episode, we head east to the border town of Alibade. Our main mission in Alibade is humanitarian. We are going to spend the day at a community clinic run by the local Red Crescent Society, SRCS also known locally as Bishas, and see exactly what this means to the community at large. Quick lesson first. In 1859, in Solferino, Italy, there was a fierce war between the armies of Imperial Austria and the Franco-Sardinian alliance that left some 40,000 men dead or dying on the battlefield, and the wounded lacking medical attention. A young man of Swiss origin, Henry Dunant organized local people to bind the soldiers' wounds and to feed and comfort them. Fast forward to 1863, where five men, including Dunant, set up the International Committee for Relief to the Wounded, later to become the International Committee of the Red Cross. Its emblem was a red cross on a white background, the inverse of the Swiss flag. The Red Cross is the name used in Christian countries while Red Crescent in Muslim countries. Just a little history for you to understand the idea behind the great initiative that continues to make a difference in many people's lives. Let us continue with this adventure then. The journey to Alibade is quite an interesting one. There is no clearly marked road in some areas once you get off the tarmac. Woe unto you if you don't own a 4x4 as well. But then remember, fuel is not a problem here. You might not have an excuse owning one. Somali people are pastoralists. Once in a while, on the way to Alibade, you will see many herders with their flocks. Interesting that most of these are young children. Wait a minute. Is that a lady grazing camels? I must admit, there are camels in Kenya. But this is the closest I have been to the desert ship. Less than two hours later and we get to Alibade and head straight to the clinic. It's a buzz of activity here. Many patients have come from far and wide to get treatment. We have just missed the birth of a newborn. Ifra Eid Adam, a 25-year-old mother of one, has just delivered a bouncing baby girl five minutes before our arrival. Leila Yonis Yusuf, 
an SRCS volunteer with a nursing degree no less, attends to the young mother. First up, administering the BCG and OPVO vaccines. And that's not all. One minute, Layla is administering drugs to a patient. The next, she's attending to a pregnant mother, seeking antenatal care. Other volunteers are unloading food supplements brought in by the Binshas team and arranging them neatly in the store. Not long after that, another volunteer is dishing out the same supplements to a mother with a malnourished child. A common problem in this area. When we finally sit down with the SRC boss in Somaliland, we get to understand the place of volunteerism in all this. Volunteers are at the backbone of every activities of the Red Cross movement. You know, we all have started as a volunteer, uh, volunteer. Even now, the staff are mostly volunteering. Because when it comes to the Red Crescent, even when you see what we are giving to the staff, it's minimum. How wonderful our time here has been. Perhaps the most touching fact is that this clinic serves the community within a 40-kilometer radius. And not only that, it further extends its services 25 kilometers into Ethiopia, the whole of which is a nomadic population. The old and the young both benefit from the services of the selfless volunteers. And I must uh, praise the uh, SRCS volunteers uh, whom I have observed from my visit. Uh, most of them are female volunteers who are doing a great job despite all their domestic work and commitments, uh, being mothers and wives, still they are committed to provide support to the needy people. Now, main work done. What exactly do people eat in this town? We now head to Fure restaurant. Spice, nyama. But no meal is complete minus a truly authentic cup, sorry, glass of Somali tea. Mm -hmm. What a fulfilling day in Alibade. Day two in Somaliland and we haven't even scratched the surface. Next, we travel far north to the port city of Berbera, next to the Gulf of Aden. I truly can't wait. We visit the sea and touch the waters that are just a few miles from Asia. Oh, and since we are the ultimate explorers, what exactly does Berbera by night look like? Next week, we also take you on a visit to a mobile clinic in Dalo area in Sahil. We continue to explore the work of SRCS to the people of Somaliland. What a sight that is Somaliland. Good job, Kibi Simulanda and Jidrif Bogu. The next episode of Somali Inside Somaliland is next Wednesday exclusively on Switch TV.